What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Hold on. Whoa, going to the championship, baby. Whoa. Guys, by the way, Michigan insults do not affect me because I am simply supporting the team because my buddy's a coach there. But it's really fun watching friends do great things. So I'm going to continue to support UM. If they lose, I'm still going to support UM. And if he goes to another school, I'll support that school. That's how I roll. Moving on, because every time I wear this hat, Every butthurt Ohio State and Alabama fan gets mad at me. Look, man, I got love for Ohio State. We're an Ohio company. I got love for Cincinnati. I got love for Alabama. But I got love for my boys. But anyway, boy, am I fortunate in life to have a group of friends around me who do really cool stuff. You guys know I got the um, stem cells in my thumb. I injured my thumb in, um, in boxing. Um, just, just wear and tear, bone spurs, uh, ligaments just screwed, arthritis in it, whatever. So hopefully that helps. It's getting better every single day. I'm very happy with the progress of that. So Dr. Brandon Kasinger at N8 Health Centers. So I want to talk about stretch. Have you seen these stretch studios where they strap you into a table and they stretch you? Now I got to admit, I tried one before and it was at a, an event. And I didn't really get much out of it. It was one of those try us out for free. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And it was like, oh, okay. And so my buddy, Tom Ostrander, he's like, hey, we have this awesome thing. It's called In Motion Wellness Studio. And it's located right down the road from you in Franklin, Tennessee. I had no clue it was there. And I'm like, that sounds great. He's like, yo, I'm coming in town in December. And um, my partner and I would love to come by and, and stretch out. I'm like, I've been stretched before, whatever. Anyway, for those of you who know about you'll see me always squatting with a narrow stance. And the reason isn't because I think it's superior. It's because my abductors, no matter what I do, they're so tight. They are very tight. In fact, I think that's a lot of the reason I'll have lower back issues because the tightness of my abductors. And I have some left knee pain right now, which again, that could be the compensation for my tight abductors. It's been going on since I injured my pelvis in high school. Okay, so I have very, very, very tight abductors. The, that's basically pulling your you know, leg away from your body. Adduction in, abduction out. My hip flexors are tight as hell. So I go in to in motion. You know, we chat, whatever. And I'm strapped into this table. And I'm contorted into some really cool positions, right? And... I'm like, wow, this is great. And they don't want you to hurt, right? Like, hey, give us a three and a five. We don't want to go beyond a five. A five is like, okay, this is uncomfortable. A three is like, this is a little bit uncomfortable, right? So they do all these different stretches. They're focusing on my abductors. And I actually went in last week on Thursday, okay? And so I'm like, all right, well, this is, this is good. And I wanted to give it time. And I actually went in again this morning for my second stretch, and look, I got a full disclosure to get my body right. I want to, I want to do everything in my power to, to compete at a high level, not meaning on stage, but meaning with my kids, meaning as a coach, meaning in life. I want to be able to just walk out the door and run for a mile because I want to, and I don't want my body to hurt. I want to get out of bed without pain. I want to do this well into my nineties and I'm 43. It's time to start really focusing on that massage for me is awesome but it doesn't help beyond the massage, meaning that, eh, okay, and then the next day, I'm whatever. So I, I was like, well, stretch makes sense. So I go in, I'll tell you what, I'm not even gonna lie, I felt better this weekend. I hit a PR on Romanian deadlift um, a couple days after I did this with no back pain. I was sore the next day, but not pain sore. Then I went in and stretched day after leg day, and I tell you what, I feel good. I feel great. So in preparation for this video, I wanted to look up the benefits of stretch. And there's a lot of them from pain mediation to better sleep to better recovery, less delay, delayed onset muscle soreness. So I wanted to see, because I like to have good titles for my video. 
I'm not even lying. And I want to all, I, but I know it's not going to be the end all be all, but there's new data coming out that show that the heat shock proteins, they assume from doing sauna after training or while, con, you know, concurrently with doing weight training, say weight training and sauna, both in your program, that sauna and weight training can actually lead to better muscular gains than weight training alone. So I'm like, huh? I wonder what stretch does. I wonder if there's any data and there is data on hypertrophy and stretch, but it is very, very, very eh, young. It's in its infancy. So the studies done did show that stretching did reduce sarcopenic muscle loss in an aged mouse. That's right. So when we look at the data on a lot of supplements, a lot of the data is on old people with sarcopenia. So one way to look at if something will increase muscle mass or at least be um, beneficial or at least somewhat help is to look at what it does in preventing muscle loss. Look at that with HMB, other supplements, right? So in mice, stretching has been showed in multiple studies to reduce sarcopenia. What that does for muscle gain in humans, don't know. But I'll put it to you this way. The data showing that stretching can reduce strength was done pre-workout. Okay, so my advice, don't stretch pre-workout, at least not this extreme stretching. I like doing more athletic best-based Um, dynamic movements like world's greatest stretch, inchworms, whatever that sport may be, leg cradles, butt kickers, things like that, right? Skipping even, right? Skipping is more movement prep. But when it comes to stretching, what I'm going to do is twice a week, I'm going to drive on my way home, time it, where I hit up in motion and I get stretching done. So far in two sessions, and I'm not lying. Again, I'm not lying about this, okay? Like any other customer, I just want you guys to to feel the way I do when I do something that works. So I go there and I'm going to go post-workout twice a week. So post-workout and apart from training, just not pre-workout and stretching will do many things, but don't look at it. What I'm saying is it's not going to reduce muscle growth. If anything, it'll help with your range of motion. It'll help with your recovery and it helps with your blood flow and blood flow in and of itself can be anabolic. I'm not saying it's steroid like anabolic. Anabolic means it can help you build some muscle, right? So here's my modalities right now. I have red light therapy that I use every single day. Okay, it's called a DNA Vibe. I have no affiliation with them, no affiliate program. Look it up, DNA Vibe. Okay, I use that. I use Mark Pro. I do have an affiliation with them, markpro.com, coupon code LOWBLINER. Putting that on my knee every night and sometimes on my back, whatever's aching that day, muscle groups I train. Mark Pro, I've been swearing by that for a long time. Uh, I love my sauna. I have a sauna in my house. People ask what brand I have. I bought my sauna like 10 years ago. My brother loves his. Oh, man, I forgot what. I forgot what it is. I forgot what brand it is. Um, a sunlight. It's a sunlight and has near and far infrared. Gets up to over 170 degrees for an infrared sauna. I love those things. Um, cold plunges. I'm going to wait. I actually am probably getting one in the next month. I'm going to wait until I use that to recommend it. That one I'm not sponsored by. I probably won't even give you the brand. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at all these different modalities and I'm not going to get into, well, doesn't ice baths, don't they reduce your your muscle growth? Again, I have a lot to say about that. Now, I will say that in a later video, but my goal is to give you guys all the tools you need to recover and stretching is one of them. So like I said, I've been to a different one before and look, the system they have, the stretch do it in motion. I'm going to link them down below. It is a franchise. They have a ton of them. They're all over the place. The one I go to is in Franklin, Tennessee, obviously, but there's a whole bunch of other ones. So um, I'm going to link it down below. If there's one in your area, I highly recommend it. I'm looking at locations now. I just went on their website. They got Knoxville, Franklin, Canton, Canton, Georgia, Dawsonville, Georgia, Gainesville, Georgia, Buford, Georgia, Asheville, North Carolina, Greer, South Carolina, Spartanburg, South Carolina, Evans, Georgia, Grovetown, Georgia, Augusta, Georgia, 
Aiken, South Carolina. Somerville, South. Nah, that's too many. Just go to the damn site. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. And uh, there, there are other stretches. This is the one I've been to. I've been to another one. I'm not going to say they're lame, but I just didn't get much. And maybe it's because it was a parking lot thing, but this one was really good for me. It really helped a lot. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Stretch, have you ever tried it? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. Comment down below. That's not a game. The Iroy Bar was created for my kids. My kids need a snack to eat during soccer tournaments, and also I wanted a bar for myself to eat pre-workout, post-workout, and also throughout the day. You want your Outray Bars right now. That's why we have a partnership going with The Vitamin Shop to make sure that we're in all 750 plus locations, providing the best price, the best service, the best people to give you the Outright Bar when and where you need it.